I appreciate most about credit unions is, is the fact that in a time when um, we're seeing people struggling, credit unions have always stepped up to help the community with individuals that are struggling. And in addition to that, what I think is, is wonderful is that credit unions look at it as a partnership between the customer and themselves. Credit unions are important institutions in our community and, and all of us in the legislature uh, should have some relationship with the financial leaders in our districts. I think the important thing is to establish that relationship with your lawmakers before there's some hot issue in Springfield where you need our attention. To have that kind of trusted relationship where you can pick up the phone and say, hey Don, this, this bill's percolating in Springfield, can we talk about it? It matters a great deal to our members. It's important to sit down and have that conversation with them. It's, in, it's vitally important as credit unions to reach out to your local legislator and invite them into the credit union, have this discussion so you can explain the differences between a credit union and other financial institutions. Everybody at the end of the day, uh, has a, you know, they, they, they should realize that Springfield has an impact on them. We have a greater impact upon uh, the day-to-day -day lives of Illinoisans and Illinois businessmen and women uh, more than anything. So don't uh, rest your laurels on everything is fine. You need to get out and at least know who your legislator is, who your representative is, who's your state senator. And you know what, I get a, a mountain of form letters on a daily basis from people that's nice, but the fact is, get in front of that person, make that initial, that contact with that person, that personal contact is so important because that will have a lasting memory on a member when we take up issues, whether in committee or on the floor of the House of Representatives. Because you know what, I might get an email or, or a phone call from someone and I'm like, you know what, it'll register with me. They came in, they spent time with me, and they talked to me. And that has value and that has weight. I think it's real important to always invite your legislators to the credit union, to their local credit union in their districts. Invite them to come by uh, during a staff meeting or perhaps that'll give an, uh, a credit union an opportunity to hold an open house. You have to get involved. Here's the thing. If you don't participate, then other people's voices are louder and they drown out your perspective, right? So if you have a perspective that needs to be taken care of and valued uh, within the state legislature, you're the only one who can tell your story. You're the only one that can stand up for yourself and offer your perspective on how important the services are that you provide to the people of this state. And so if you're not telling your story, nobody else is. When I say tell your story, there's a whole lot of ways of telling your story than on the expensive TV commercial or the expensive billboard on the expressway. Get a regular person who's, you know, uh, banking at the credit union, take them down to that lawmaker's office and let them tell their story. There's nothing like putting a face to an issue. You know, let them know that, hey, I tried to get this car loan at the big bank and they declined me. I walked down the street to my credit union I got it and it was even cheaper. You know, those are great stories that we need to hear, right? And so get some of those members of those credit unions and take the show on the road and tell the stories.